Everyone go, guns, weapons, locks on houses, alarm systems. There was a genuine terror in the city. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down the worst true crimes that took time to fully process and kept the American population on edge. The Unabomber died while serving four consecutive life sentences, decades after his reign of terror gripped the nation. The Black Dahlia murder. It was the morning of January 15, 1947, when the body of Elizabeth Short was discovered. She was a young woman who left her home to come find fame and fortune, maybe, in Los Angeles. The grotesque display of the corpse attracted lurid media attention, as did the deceased's lack of identity. It quickly became known as the Black Dahlia case, and it took Los Angeles by storm. It's kind of the archetype of the kind of crime that captures the American public's attention. While the media hungrily pounced, everyday citizens were left in abject terror, and the police were left chasing their own tails. They sifted through 60 fake confessions and interviewed over 150 people, while others traipsed through storm drains in a desperate search for clues. They came up with nothing substantial, ending the media circus with a frustrated shrug. To this day, Black Dahlia remains one of the most elusive unsolved crimes in American history. Given the nature of the crime, we want an answer. We want to know why, we want to know who. And until we do, I think there will always be an interest. The Lindbergh kidnapping. Even to this day, nearly 100 years on, the Lindbergh kidnapping is referenced in pop culture and remains synonymous with high profile crimes. The Lindberghs would experience one of the most severe media frenzies in history, a story that would capture the attention of a nation and haunt the couple for the rest of their lives. The case itself occurred back in 1932, when young Charles Lindbergh Jr. was kidnapped from his home and killed. The kidnapping earned national attention for a variety of reasons, including the fame of Lindbergh's father, a notable aviator who made the first solo transatlantic flight. His newfound fame sends him on speaking tours around the world as an aviation icon. The kidnapping quickly became the most pronounced media circus of its day, with journalist H.L. Mencken even calling it, quote, the biggest story since the resurrection. It ended with the conviction and execution of a man named Bruno Hauptmann, but many people continued to question his guilt. In 1935, Bruno Richard Hauptmann was convicted of one count of murder in the first degree. The following year, he was executed. The death of Jean Benet Ramsey. When it comes to unsolved crimes, it doesn't get much more notorious than Jean Benet Ramsey. Mr. and Mrs. Ramsey, what do you want to say to the killer of your daughter? We'll find you. We will find you. I have that as a sole mission for the rest of my life. A child beauty queen, Ramsey was discovered by her father on the afternoon of December 26, 1996, and it was evident that Ramsey had died from foul play. The sensational crime quickly attracted media attention and left America completely speechless. A story that is gripping the nation. It is the investigation of the murder of little John Benet Ramsey. Various aspects of the case contributed to its macabre allure, including the age of Ramsey, her career as a child beauty queen, the curious behavior of her family, and a bizarre ransom note that was thought to have been written by Ramsey's mother. A ransom note is not that long. A ransom note says, I have your child, I want a million dollars, I'll call you later. This is two and a half pages long. Whoever does that? Others focused on the police investigation, arguing that it was incompetently bungled. The Boston Strangler. Between June 1962 and January 1964, the greater Boston area was besieged by a wave of violence that left 13 women dead. A crime wave that caused citywide terror. Women would not let the postman or the milkman come to the door. Unfortunately, the case is still littered with frustrating question marks. The killings were attributed to a person known as the Boston Strangler. And while the public and media believed that the Strangler was solely responsible, the police were not so sure. The bizarre sequence of murders had everyone baffled. The public was seemingly vindicated when a man named Albert DeSalvo confessed to the crimes, and his DNA was found at one of the scenes. A DNA match was made for the first time, confirming Albert DeSalvo as Sullivan's killer with 99.9% .9 certainty. However, many experts believe that DeSalvo did not act alone, as there have been numerous inconsistencies in his detailed confessions. The Unabomber. 
Real name Theodore Kaczynski, the Unabomber was so named after his FBI identifier Unabomb, which stood for University and Airline Bomber. He was the most wanted man in America, cold-blooded bomber who killed and maimed. He eluded the FBI for 18 years, a ghost targeting universities and airlines. Thus the name, the Unabomber. Between 1978 and 1995, Kaczynski sent various letter bombs through the federal mail system, killing three and injuring a further 23. Local, state, and federal investigators continue to work around the clock, collecting evidence from the blast. The early morning explosion severely injured Yale University computer scientist David Glertner. The case quickly became one of the most notorious in American history, and it left the country in the throes of paranoia. The FBI spent extraordinary manpower in their effort to find the Unabomber, and it became the longest and most expensive manhunt in the Bureau's history. He was finally captured in 1996, but not before capturing more media attention by publishing a manifesto in the Washington Post. The Washington Post published the 35,000-word manifesto. The Oklahoma City Bombing Great tragedy often results in great humanity. On April 19, 1995, anti-government extremists Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols bombed the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City. Each year, survivors and families come together to remember those lost and commit to making sure America knows that terror can be homegrown. The blast came from a truck bomb and killed 168 people while injuring 680. It remains the deadliest act of domestic terrorism in American history. The crime gripped the nation and led to an outpouring of relief efforts. The Oklahoma City bombing stands as the deadliest domestic terror attack in U.S. history. 168 lives lost. Over 12,000 people helped sift through the rubble. 9,000 units of blood were donated and a flurry of items were sent to Oklahoma, requiring the construction of drop-off centers. Rescue workers worked their way through the wreckage of the Murrah Federal Building, looking for survivors among the close to 200 people believed to be still in that rubble. One graphic photo in particular left the country speechless, and it would win the Pulitzer Prize for spot news photography. The Zodiac Killings There are few murder sprees as notorious as the Zodiacs. The still unknown Zodiac killer terrorized Northern California throughout the late 60s, killing at least five while taunting the police and media with cryptic letters. On July 31st, three Bay Area newspapers received three virtually identical handwritten letters from someone who claims to be the killer. He demands that a cipher which is included with the letters be published on August 1st, where he threatens to kill more victims. The killings received widespread attention and continue to captivate the American public. One of the Zodiac's cryptograms wasn't solved until 2020, when it was decoded by a team of private citizens. And after a little bit of effort, we were able to unlock the entire message. But this obsession with the Zodiac is certainly nothing new. Back in 1969, the first Zodiac cryptogram was cracked by married couple Donald and Betty Harden after they saw it in various Bay Area newspapers. They believed that the cipher would contain the word kill, so they looked for pairings of certain symbols that could represent two-letter L's, and they were successful. The message read, I like killing people because it's so much fun. But while this collective public obsession has helped solve some cryptic writings, it has not helped in identifying the Zodiac himself. The Manson Family Murders At the same time that the Zodiac was terrorizing Northern California, the Manson family was terrorizing Los Angeles. Charles Manson and his so-called family would become the most infamous killers of the 20th century. Throughout the summer of 1969, the dangerous cult killed nine people. But the most famous of all, and the one that continues to captivate the American public, were the Tate-LaBianca murders of August 9th and 10th. Nobody knew who did it. Nobody had a clue, and Hollywood just went nuts. People were buying guard dogs, and they were buying guns. Oh, L.A. panicked. The killings caused enormous ripples to reverberate throughout the American consciousness, with some arguing that it gave rise to the satanic panic and killed 60s counterculture. I mean, it's, 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 it's nightmarish. It's nightmarish. These murders were so unbelievably shocking that they not only left America speechless, they sent it down a very disturbed road that was mirrored in the dark pop culture of the 70s. O.J. Simpson, 
O.J. Simpson's trial for the murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ronald Goldman, was one of the biggest crime stories of the modern era. This was the perfect soap opera. The O.J. Simpson murder case was the first true reality show for the country. What drew people to the story wasn't the lurid details of the crime, but the celebrity of Simpson. He had been an incredibly popular football player, starring in iconic commercials and breaking records as a running back. In 1973, playing a 14-game season, Simpson sprinted for a staggering 2,003 yards. It gave the case notoriety from the outset, with 95 million people watching the infamous Bronco chase on television. The following months saw an unprecedented media circus, with virtually 24-7 coverage in print, radio, and television. There was a forest of satellite trucks, satellite dishes, people working in trailers, all built so that this trial could go out to the world. One producer at NBC called it, quote, the biggest story they had ever seen, and for good reason. This thing was quite literally everywhere. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The Assassination of John F. Kennedy of course, there's one story that eclipses that of O.J. Simpson, and that is the assassination of John F. Kennedy. He's broken away from his plan and uh, gone right up to the fence to shake hands with people. This is great for the people and uh, makes the eggshells even thinner for the Secret Service, whose job it is to guard the man. The reaction to the president's death was understandably swift. A quarter of a million people passed through the Capitol to see Kennedy lying in state. Conspiracy theories immediately sprouted and continue strong to this day, with a majority of Americans believing that some kind of secret is involved. But despite all the conspiracy theories, there has never been any credible evidence to suggest anything other than that Oswald acted alone. Most notable of all, enraged nightclub owner Jack Ruby shot and killed Lee Harvey Oswald as he was being escorted to county jail. Just as we were getting ready to go down, I told him, and Lee, if anybody shoots at you, I hope he's as good a shot as you are. He kind of laughed, and he said, oh, nobody's going to shoot at me. The shocking event was broadcast on TV, and a photo of the shooting won the Pulitzer Prize for photography. There is simply no public response like it. Do you remember hearing about these on the news? Let us know in the comments below. It was crazy. Outside the courthouse, it's a circus. Inside, a real-life drama unfolding. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.